So today we are going to continue with part 8 of our Axon Framework Complete application uh, using CRA, CQRS Parson. And today we are going to be working on our controllers. Today we are going to write the REST controllers. So if you are joining for the first time, please go back and start from the first one because this is uh, a tutorial that starts uh, that continues from the previous one. <coughs> So right here in the controller package, I'm going to start by creating a new controller and that is going to be a class. Let's start with writing the product controller. Uh, again, the, the file here is also, uh, the content of this file is here on my website, but I would like us to write it out and also, and also explain as we go. So I'm going to annotate with address controller. Okay, so now we want to write two methods. One method to return a list of products and a second method to add a new product. So let's start with the first one. Um, we'll need uh, to add a product, we'll need a post mapping. And post mapping is going to be to the endpoint add product. Right, so it's going to be a void function, so it's not going to return anything. So public void let's call it uh okay now we are writing uh, a method to add a product since this is axon framework uh this method will be handle because it's going to handle a request so sometimes for newbies even for me i'm trying to still make sure i get my head around uh how this works exactly so the product summary is going to be coming from the request body so i'm going to um, get the product summary product summary not product product summary summary and you just take out this and it's going to be coming from the request body so I'm going to just annotate this with at request body annotation okay that is fine okay so we are now going to uh, simply uh, create a new command because we are we need to sign this as a command through the command gateway just to remind you this is the architecture we are looking at now here you see uh, let me just shift this let me just maybe make it smaller All right so here you can see that here in the controller or the GUI it could be the controller or a GUI so whatever is coming from the GUI goes through the command gateway so we are going to package this product uh, being added, we are going to package it into a command and then send it into the command gateway. Basically, it's simply to create a new command. So let's create a, a new add product command. CMD is equal to new add product command and specify uh, the parameters which are which is actually the, the, the attributes of the product or the fields of the product model, product uh, summary model. So we are going to say um, summary dot get ID uh, summary dot get price and we have summary dot get stock and summary dot get description. This is fine. And then we are we are going to send this product across through the command gateway. So we need to we need to have a command gateway wired into this class. So it's going to be private command gateway sorry is command gateway command gateway so here I'm simply going to say uh, permit me to just add the the class the the constructor parameter as well all right fine so here I'm simply going to say command gateway dot send now you can either send it sync or async so in this case I'm trying to send it uh, uh, sync uh, asynchronously so it's gonna be signed and wait CMD, and that is fine. So we're gonna send it through the command gateway uh, to the repository. Actually, through the command gateway, it gets to the uh, command boss and it gets to the repository. All right, this is fine. I uh, hopefully I'm not missing out anything. Let's now write the next um, the next method, the next controller method, and this is going to be at get uh, a mapping. That will return a list of all the products uh, from the repository. So I'm going to use add get mapping to 
slash products and uh, it's going to be now there is something about this a uh, list of products comes as something called completable completable future com completable future lists of products so basically we are saying that this is going to uh, be some kind of container that uh, is going to wait for the, 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 the list of products to come back and then it can capture it. So basically it's a way uh, uh, to, to make a request asynchronously where they are forcing us to make this request asynchronously. So um, so it's going to be completable. Uh, com let me just let me just kind of do something. So let's say list. I'll change this list of product summary. Uh, list of product summary. Get products. Uh, and list of product summary. Get products. Now we don't need any uh, parameters here, and so we are going to s return. Actually, I would like to, okay, um, okay, return query gateway because this is going through uh, the query gateway. But now we don't have a query gateway, so I'm simply going to add the query gateway here. Private query gateway, query gateway. So we can use it. I'm going to also add it. One second. So I'm going to also add it as a constructor, uh, add it to the constructor as well. So I needed to give me this intelligence. Okay, let's just continue. Query gateway dot query, and then we need new get products query, uh, new get products query, and we also need to specify the response type. So we are going to say response type. Uh, dot multiple instances of so it's going to be multiple instances of product summary product summary dot class all right so maybe I'm gonna just make a little room so that you can see what is actually happening so this is here we are so now this actually uh, returns completable future as you can see so I'm gonna just allow it to do this so you can see it adds the return type has been added right here so basically, this is how the controller for uh, a CQRS based architecture looks like. Okay, so I'm going to save all, but now I'm seeing some error somewhere. So where is this error coming from? Uh, okay, so I need a semicolon just here. All right, so I hope everything is fine. So um, yeah. Okay, so let's quickly also write the other controller as well. So this is going to be another file in the controllers package so I'm going to right click and say new Java class is going to be other controller or other controller all right this is fine and just give me a second let me check the product controller is a rest controller uh, and the other controller as well should be a rest controller as well all right so so basically it's about similar to what we already have so in this case we need i'm going to just scroll down so that you can see the other controller uh, file here so i need a command gateway and a query gateway as well so i'm going to first uh do the command gateway uh command gateway and i also do uh, query gateway Query gateway, oh, sorry, query gateway. All right. So I now have to write the other controller methods. Um, the 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 get product. Uh, first, let's write the, the method to add a new a new order to create a new order. So it's going to be a uh, post post mapping to let's call the endpoint create create order. Let's call it create order and it's going to be a void function. So it's going to be public void uh, handle. So because this is a request coming, so it's going to be handled and we need another other summary coming from the request body. So I'm going to use at request body. 
and it's going to be other summary other summary I can just call it summary so at this point uh, we are going to simply create a new a new uh, create other command and send it through the command gateway so this is very simple so here we also need to add the, the constructor parameter for the two of the okay I think we are okay right here so I'm going to simply create a new uh, create other command so I'm going to say create other command cmd equals new create other command and uh, uh, you specify the parameters coming from summary dot get ID summary dot get price summary dot get number and summary dot get product ID alright so these are the parameters and now we need to send this command through the command gateway so basically you simply say command gateway dot send can actually use a uh, sync or async so let's go by async it doesn't make much difference for a very small application or for the demo application we are working with right now all right so here we go so just like we did before we need to also do a get mapping to get the list of others so i'm going to say at uh get mapping to slash others okay and um I'm going to say whatever uh, let's say public I'm gonna change this so don't worry I'm gonna change this into to what it's supposed to be so I'm going to say get others uh, get others and it doesn't take any parameter and it's going to it's going to return uh, query gateway dot query that query and we're gonna specify we're gonna specify the query so it's going to be new uh, get others query uh, get others query new get others and the response type new get others query and we need to specify the response type dot multiple instances of in this case it's gonna be other summary dot uh, sorry this is not other summary dot class all right so here we go and I think everything should be fine so at this point let's just make it return the what it should return which is a completable future like this so at this point we are we have all our controllers perfectly well so I think everything should be fine by now so at this point I'm going to run this code but right now we don't have any uh, we don't have any uh, products in the, in the system so I'm going to first I'm going to add some product and then we are going to test it so I think I'm running out of time so right now I beg to defer uh, to, to move on to the next part in the next part we are now going to test everything and then we complete uh, we now start building the UI I'd like to thank you for viewing if you've not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button and if you have any challenges please do let me know